Are you looking to revitalize your resume? Well, in this video, we're gonna go through some of the basic steps that will ensure that your resume looks the best that it can for a cybersecurity job. Let's get into the video. The average hiring manager only looks at your resume for about 7.4 seconds. So it's critical that when you are redoing your resume or even first starting to build your resume, that you make sure that it sticks to one page only. You don't wanna have multiple pages on your resume. They're just not gonna go through it. They don't have the time to go through it and it's not going to look great on your part because this is a basic, basic thing that you need to have down. One page only for your resume. Another key point to know when building your resume is that you need to figure out the key words for the role that you are applying for. So how you can do this is you simply go through your LinkedIn or go through Indeed, whichever job search engine that you're using, and you're going to start sifting through some of the jobs that you're looking to get into. You'll notice a common theme of um, descriptors or keywords that they want inside of your resume. So this is important because for the algorithm, when it searches for candidates, it's going to look through these resumes, including yours, and it's going to show you the uh, candidates and the resumes that are popping for the keywords that you're looking for. For instance, if they're looking for a security analyst and they're looking for somebody who has some experience with Microsoft Azure, you may find that that's a common theme in your search. And you may find that applying that is gonna greatly benefit you because you're enabling the search to pick you up based on that criteria. So I would highly suggest just going into a, a easy, easy Google search, simply putting cybersecurity keywords on resumes. And you're gonna find a whole list of common keywords that are typically searched for during the job search. Add those to your resume. Um, even if you have um, you know, basic understanding of them, add it to your resume. Now, clearly, don't add it to your resume if you have no understanding whatsoever because you're just gonna get yourself in a lot of frustration and trouble when it comes to the role and you're really gonna have a hard time adjusting and adapting. So definitely don't do that. But if you do have that experience, put it on there. Um, this is the best way to get your application at the top of the searches on LinkedIn. So next, let's talk about the order of your resume, right? You want your resume to be in a good chronological order that is pleasing to the hiring manager that's looking for the role to be filled. So for instance, if you have any type of clubs or organizations that you are a part of that are um, good for the role that you're getting into, say you're in a some kind of, you know, firewall club or a VPN club or anything of that nature where you guys just really take deep dives into certain niches of cybersecurity, that's great. And I had a uh, organization that I also was a part of. Those are not the things that you want to put top of your resume. Um, that that's not the workflow that you're kind of looking for. So I'm going to go through a quick um, step by step of how I would personally set up your resume. The first thing you want to put is some kind of um, descriptor of who you are as a person. Just a quick two or three sentences that sum up um, who you are, what you're looking to do and where you stand right now in your job search. Um, this can be a very simple statement such as, you know, I'm John, uh, I'm an avid and uh, fluid cybersecurity professional looking to secure and provide assistance to um, the cybersecurity team that I work on and continue to provide data and internet protection uh, for the company. 
it's something simple just like that uh, it'll do you serve you just well and I think a lot of people are gonna read that and get to know a tiny bit about you just from that um, and there's not much more to it obviously at the top of your resume you just want to put a descriptive of your name above the summary. You're going to put your name and, you know, where you're located. I highly suggest do not put your full address, not in today's day and age. It's just not something that I think is um, a good idea. Um, it's not necessary. They don't need to know exactly where your house is. So um, just keep it simple up there as well. The next thing that you're going to want to do is what they're really looking for, right? Which is work experience. Now, let me pause here because if there is no work experience, which is very common, um, I didn't have any work experience when I first got out of school, so I wasn't able to really put anything there. So let me tell you, if that is your case, do you don't have work experience, put your education at the top of the list. Um, that's what they're really going to want to see. Now, if you're, I'm still going off of if you don't have this work experience. If you don't, the next thing that you're going to want to put is um, any type of projects that you've worked on in college, because that is a good indicator of some experience. So as for someone with experience, you're going to go education, projects at school. If you're somebody who has work experience in the field, you're going to put your work experience and then your education. Following that criteria, moving along down the resume, you're going to want to put next your soft skills. These are skills that you have honed in on, on with your own personality and your own character. Um, these are simple skills that make you a good client to work with. Um, so this is something that you want to add next into the list. It'll give the um, hiring manager a general um, better understanding of who you are, uh, your personality and your character. I think it's important to put it next there on the list. Now, lastly, you don't want to forget if you have certifications, put them there at the bottom of the resume and it'll be a good last note for the hiring manager to see when they're going down your resume. Um, you worked hard for these certifications. Do not skip out on them on your resume. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to make sure that the work that you put in is being shown on your resumes. You should not have a um, certification related to IT and it's just sitting on a plaque on your wall but it's not on your resume or LinkedIn or indeed for others to see that are the ones that actually care about the certifications next a lot of people and I've done it before they put their resumes and they save them as a doc right uh, as a word Microsoft Word document um, these softwares that you're predetermining to save uh, a resume to, they're nice, but not everybody has them, right? Some people are using Google Docs. So think about that when you're saving your resumes. The best approach is to save your resume as a PDF. This way, even if the user doesn't have the PDF, it'll open up in a browser um, more than likely. So at the end of the day, everybody has access to that resume you don't want to you know lose a potential position because the hiring manager opened up word and they don't have it downloaded on their desktop or they don't have an 0365 account so take that into consideration use pdf don't use word now this applies specifically or I should say it pertains maybe more towards those that have been um, carrying on a resume for multiple years um, why they've been going through you know side jobs through high school and college um, and they're putting you know McDonald's or Walmart or anything like that on their resume it's highly suggested at this point in your life and your career that you kind of leave those jobs off to the side. Uh, the employer doesn't really want to know that you worked at McDonald's. Now, this is not to say that if there's some customer service desire that that's not going to help you. But I think more than likely, it's only going to complicate your resume and make it harder for that hiring manager to get through those seven seconds that they're going to look over your resume. So just make sure if it's not pertaining to the field, 
Um, if it's not any type of IT experience or anything like that, just leave it off your resume. It makes your resume look cleaner and it doesn't add a lot of clutter into the resume that really doesn't need to be there. Now, I do wanna tell you, if you do want to, um, I know I will get these questions, so let me just answer it now. Go into my uh, YouTube channel if you would like one-on-one -on -one support with your resume. Click the join button and then scroll down to the CISO membership. And in there, I will give you one-on-one -on -one guidance and career coaching where we can go through all types of um, different documents that you wanna go over, including your resume, to make it better suitable and pleasing to the eyes of the hiring manager. So just wanted to mention that you always have that option if you want a little bit more in depth than what I can provide in just these videos. So. I just want to kind of show you guys exactly uh, how you can go about making a nice looking resume. A great option is canva.com. I love Canva um, and I use it all the time for a lot of different things. You can easily just go over here, type in resume, search it up, and you have all of these resumes here that you have access to now. Let me make this a little bigger for you here. And you're able to go through any of these that you like and click, add them, zoom in, and look at this, guys. This is a clean way to get your resume looking professional. Just go in here and simply change to whatever you want to change it to. You want this to be John, you put John. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than this. And I think it's a great way for you to uh, revitalize your resume or create your resume from the ground up. So guys, I really hope that that helped you. Um, I want to really to give you a good understanding of what your resume should look like. Uh, it's easy to uh, make a bad resume. So um, this video is really just to dial down, give you a high level of the basics that your resume should have that will get you into the next position within cybersecurity. Um, like I said, if you do want to get some one-on-one -on -one career coaching with me, um, just go to my channel, hit join CISO and become a member and I will reach out to you and we can get going on that. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope it helped you guys and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.